Well, question one, introduce yourself. I don't understand the question. <laughs> My name is Michael O'Grady. Um, if you know who I am, and I'm sure you do, you probably know me better by my stage name and performing name, Mick Greaves. Um, and it's been my pleasure for the last six years to be the front man of seminal Gold Coast punk rock band, Die For Moshies. Um, yeah, I'm 27. I was born in 1994 and I've lived my entire life on the Gold Coast and it's it's led me here to... Tafe at Coomera. <laughs> um, question two, what do you do in Tafe? Well, <laughs> surprisingly enough, I'm here doing screen and media. Uh, I love music, but it, it didn't seem like a great avenue to go down to get a job. Uh, and with the huge industry here, the massive industry here, that just seems to be getting bigger, I thought, why not get into the ground floor, you know? So I came here to do uh, the diploma and it's been an absolute pleasure so far. Some of the people I've met have been fantastic. I'm excited to work with them in the future. Uh, question three, what do you do creatively outside of TAFE? Yeah, I've, I've played in a band for the last six years. It's been a real trip. Uh, Die for Mushies. Uh, we've done three EPs. We've released two of them. The third one, we're kind of just sitting on a little bit at the moment. Um, in the years we've been going, we've played about 100 gigs, I'd say, over 100 gigs over all of Southeast Queensland um, and the northern New South Wales area. It's been a real trip. Some of the people I've met on the road and in the industry have been uh, really important to getting me where I, to where I am today. It's been really, I think, the best thing I've ever done in my life. Question four, where do you get your creative influences from? Um, well, yeah, it's usually, it's mostly music, you know, but um, I try to classify it in two different categories. You know, I've got the influences that just inspire me to create things, whether it's film or music. And then I've got um, influences that directly affect the music I make and the performance I give, you know, some of the ones that inspire me to create things are, you know, the Grateful Dead and uh, Martin Scorsese and Stanley Kubrick, great filmmakers and great musicians. And then guys like Bon Scott and Steven Tyler really are the ones who sort of, and you know, Johnny Ramone and uh, Leaving and so many different legends that influence the music the band makes and the performance I give when we play live. Uh, what question five, what is your method to get into the creative zone? Yeah, I just, well, like I just let myself be inspired, you know, uh, I watch a film and I'll see things in it that make me want to make a film, you know, ideas in the story or the production side of it that I think that's, that could be something that I could use as an influence in my work. Um, musically. Yeah. And then I just would listen to music, um, music that's similar to the stuff my band makes for ideas or just general music that I enjoy that sort of tickles that creative aspect. Um, I don't know how appropriate it is, but I definitely think weed, mull, marijuana is a huge part of the creative process as well. Every music achievement I've made has been backed by the smell of <laughs> weed smoke, bong smoke. Um, I really do think it helps creating and performing music, writing, uh, every aspect of it, performing, playing, uh, from the inception of a song all the way through to performing it in front of people or the nucleus of an idea to the finished product of seeing it as a film, the entire process I truly believed is helped by cannabis. <laughs> uh, question six, and I believe the final question, where do you see yourself creatively in five years? Um, well, it's interesting because five years ago, it would have been a totally different answer to now. And I'm sure in five years again, it'll be a completely different answer again. But five years ago, I thought it was going to be music. I, in some aspect or another, whether it was performing or playing or 
technician work or recordist work. I, I wanted to just be around it. But then I, you know, the more time I spent, even semi-professionally as a touring and recording musician, the sort of line between what I loved and what I did for work got a bit muddled. And that really sort of turned me off it. Aside from the fact that it's so difficult to know the intricacies of sound recording and everything is something that's way, way well beyond me. Um, so yeah, creatively then I thought it was going to be music, but as time's gone on, it seems to sort of steer more towards film. Hopefully in five years from now, I'd love to be working on, you know, a big Hollywood production or something for myself, working with people I know are qualified that I trust and that I enjoy working with and that bring out the best creative ideas I have. That's the dream, you know, to work with people who bring out the best of me. Um, and I think that's about it. So uh, thanks for having me and I'll talk to you next time.